Next, let me welcome one of America's great public servants, the former Secretary of the Treasury, Jack Lew, who in addition to being a partner at Lindsey Goldberg and a professor at Columbia's SEPA, is now chairman of the National Committee and he will read a letter from President Biden. Thanks so much, Steve, uh, and thank you, Secretary Kissinger, for opening our session with those words. We all look forward to seeing you uh, here in person next year. And I welcome all of you, and we'll have some additional remarks in a few moments when we go through the program. But I'm privileged now uh, to read a message from uh, President Biden uh, on this occasion. And it's dated uh, the White House. I send greetings to everyone gathered for the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations 2021 Gala Dinner. For over 50 years, the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations has promoted cooperation between the United States and China, helping foster mutual understanding and constructive conversation to help find common ground. Today, our world is at an inflection point in history. From tackling the COVID-19 pandemic to addressing the existential threat of the climate crisis, the relationship between the United States and China has global significance. Solving these challenges and seizing opportunities will require the broader international community to come together as we each do our part to build a safe, peaceful, and resilient future. I'm grateful for your dedication to strengthening the bonds between the people of our two countries. Through the advocacy of organizations like yours, we can seek greater connectivity and advancement of interests that affect our countries and the world. Signed, President Biden. A few weeks ago, we lost Colin Powell, a friend to many in this room. He said, quote, diplomacy is listening to what the other guy says, needs. Preserving your own positioning, but listening to the other guy. You have to develop relationships with other people so when tough times come, you can work together. I met Ching Gang in 2015 when President Xi visited the United States. I then got to watch him daily as spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as he preserved his and China's position. Since arriving in the United States as China's ambassador, I have watched Ambassador Chin preserve China's position while still listening and developing relationships with people. So when the tough times come, as they have, we can work together. We are pleased that he has chosen this as his first major public event in the United States and welcome him to read a letter from President Xi and make some remarks. Welcome, my friend, Ambassador Chin. Secretary Jacob Lu, Secretary Elaine Chao, Mr. Stephen Owens, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, good evening. It gives me great pleasure to attend the 2021 gala dinner of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations. First, I have the great privilege to read out the letter of congratulations from His Excellency Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China, to today's event. On the occasion of the 2021 annual event of the National Committee on United States-China Relations, I wish 
to express my appreciation and recognition to the committee and its member for your long-time dedication to the growth of China-U.S. relations and to the exchanges and the cooperation between our countries in various areas. The China-U.S. relationship is among the most important bilateral relationships in the world today. Whether our two countries, the world's biggest developing country and the biggest developed country, and the two permanent members of the UN Security Council can handle our relations well, bears on the fundamental interests of the two countries and the peoples, and matters to the future of the world. Right now, China-U.S. relations are at a critical historical juncture. Both countries will gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation. Cooperation is the only right choice. Following the principles of mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and win-win cooperation, China stands ready to work with the United States to enhance exchanges and the cooperation across the board, jointly address regional and the international issues, as well as global challenges, and in the meantime, properly manage differences so as to bring China-U.S. relations back to the right track of sound and steady development. I hope the committee will, and all those who care for and support the development of China-U.S. relations, will reinforce confidence, keep up your good work, and contribute even more wisdom and strength to the advancement of China-U.S. friendship and to the benefits of people in our two countries and around the world. S signed, Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends, President Xi's letter of congratulations reflects China's positive attitude and the position on developing China-U.S. relations. China's policy towards the U.S. is highly consistent and stable. We always bear in mind the fundamental interests of the people of both countries and the whole world and handle China-U.S. relations from a strategic and a long-term perspective. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations. Fifty years are just like a flash in history. The historical achievements made in China-U.S. relations embodied the vision, wisdom, and hard efforts of generations of Chinese and American leaders, statesmen, and insightful people. I also wish to take this opportunity to extend sincere congratulations and pay high tribute to Mr. Ming Xie, this year's honoree. Thank you for your important efforts and the contributions to China-U.S. friendly exchanges and the practical cooperation. No doubt, our two countries and the whole world have been going through tremendous and profound changes. Some people say that China-U.S. relationship cannot go back to the past. But is it a reason why people can take it lightly or even damage it as they wish. No, we reject this view and this doing. 
Today, the interests of our two countries remain deeply integrated. Our shared responsibility for world peace, stability, and prosperity remain unchanged. Our people remain passionate for friendship and exchanges with each other. And our mission to ensure stable growth of China-U.S. relations also remains the same as ever. Just as President Xi pointed out, both countries stand to gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation. Cooperation was, is, and will always be the only right choice for us. In the past few years, China-U.S. relations have been seriously undermined. This does not serve the fundamental interests of the two peoples, nor is it consistent with the trend of the world. We look forward to working with the American government and the visionary people in the spirit of the phone call between our two presidents to strengthen dialogue, manage differences, focus on cooperation, and make unremitting efforts to take China-U.S. relations back to the right track. I hope that the National Committee will continue to show leadership and play a great role in promoting the mutual understanding and the constructive cooperation between China and the U.S. So here I am, here I come at a very difficult and a challenging time. Just as Mr. Orleans just now quoted uh, Colin Powell said, you know, a good diplomat, you know, it has to be somebody, you know, good at listening to. So here I come, I want to listen to, I want to communicate, I want to be a deliver, right? So I urge all of you who uh, care and love this important relationship to join me for the improvement of this vitally important relationship, not only for our two countries, but for the whole world. Thank you so much for your attention.